So I'm going to talk about uh, my experience with a magic lantern hack um, on my 70D uh, and, and what, it, what that's been like. I've used it now for a week or so. Uh, it's a game changer in many different ways. What it's, what it's done is it's, it's changed this camera into one that was very frustrating to use into one that is very delightful to use and, and I always know where I'm at. And I... So what is the Magic Lantern? Magic Lantern is a, an organization uh, which has done some amazing things. They've hacked the firmware for the, basically the operating system of the camera and giving, given us uh, YouTube creators or video creators who are using DSLRs um, the features in the camera that would be things you would find uh, on pr more professional movie grade equipment. Um, also usability. Now, I can't even begin to go in to explore all of the different possibilities uh, of this firmware. M much of it I don't understand, but there's a few things that I do understand that has changed my life and made this camera what was very frustrating into something that was very delightful. So once you go on the site and download the firmware, you save it to an SD card, you put it inside the camera, you do a reboot, you go over here to your menu. It's very simple. Over here... Um, Oh, I gotta be in the manual setting. Caught me on the green setting there. So you go over here, so you access your menu, and then you do a firmware update right here. So you go down right there, and it does everything else. It loads automatically, it's very simple. Uh, very simple to use. Once that's installed, you access the menu by click, click, clicking the garbage button. Try this again. There, so now this is, we're in outside of the main operating system and we're in the Magic Lantern. And you can see there are lots of different choices. Of course, you can just geek out like crazy on that um, and go, go bonkers. But for me, I'm not so much interested in that, but there was a couple things that I really disliked about the camera. First off, is that beeping sound? Oh, the other, other camera. First off was not having the ability to have to know if you're recording. See those recording bars up there? Those don't come, believe it or not, on the factory firmware setting. So here's the scenario. You're recording YouTube videos and you just spent half a day recording videos and let's say your microphone, the battery was dead or it wasn't working, you get to post-production, you have no audio. I cannot tell you. I cannot, I cannot express in words how aggravating and frustrating that is. And for Canon not to put basic audio levels on this camera, which is being touted and designed to use uh, for video creators, is terrible. Absolutely terrible. Shame on you, Canon, for not doing that. I don't know if it's a feature that they knew was so critical to videographers that they only put it on their high-end cameras, so to dissuade you from buying the less expensive one and buying the higher-end camera, I don't know. Bad, bad, bad design. But this, the Magic Lantern hack, fixes that. We've got audio bars. You know, I'm just picking it up right now on the factory microphone, uh, but it also works with your lav mics or your shotgun boom mics. So in the scenario, so when I'm filming and I'm setting up, I can see that I'm recording audio, right? I got the bars there. It's, it's critical, absolutely critical. Another feature that was, is really wonderful uh, and a thing that happens a lot is you don't hit the record button. I have lost segments of videos and videos were not as good because of that. And this, uh, the Magic Lantern hack solves that. So if I turn off the video recording feature here, right? I stop that. You see those crossbars on there? It's a little subtle in the video there, but there's a square right there. It says not recording. So when I look at that screen, I can get you there and see that the hash bar across there, that's an instant notification to me of a, a visual stimulation, I guess to tell me that you're not recording, stupid, hit the record button. That in itself has tremendous value and that was something that was not, there you can see it better, is, was not added. So as soon as I hit record, the red light comes on, that's missing. So if that's not there, I always know that I'm recording. Because that little red button is hard to see, that little red dot right there, right? The third thing that I have found to be absolutely invaluable is this camera is designed ergonomically um, for your hand to access the shutter button right here, right? That's what we're used to. That's how you take a picture, right? That's how you take photos. That's how you've always done it. It's just natural. Your finger falls there. It works around the controls. 
So that does not initiate the video. So you can see here, this is a selector. This is for taking still images. This is for taking video. The video start and stop on the factory settings is right here. Well, how is that when you're at the front of the camera to activate? All right, so you're in front of the camera and, and I've got something to tell you. So to turn this camera on, I have to reach around here and blindly tr try to feel this and hopefully get it started, right? It's terrible. So the third and wonder one of the most wonderful hacks uh, on there is to be able to turn on a function where the shutter button actually starts and stops the video. So the shutter button on DSL cameras is two position. You hold down halfway, that is your focus, the rest of the way takes an image. So the halfway point, as you can see here, starts the video. Oh, right there, starts the video. There's, there it's running and stops the video. Also, there's an autofocus on the back, which some people like to use. I like to use that as well. That also starts and stops the video. So when I'm at the, when I'm using this camera and I want, I'm in front of it and I want to start the video, no longer am I groping along the back trying to figure out how to do that. I simply can push the button right there. It makes sense. I mean, how, how obvious is that? Another, the third and wonderful fix, uh, for the magic lantern. Not only that, it just keeps getting better. I'm, I'm only going to talk about the things that, that work for me. I, there may be more things in this hack that I haven't yet under, explored, but this stuff is fantastic. So right here on a readout, simple things. Right there, I've got a battery percentage. It tells me, excuse me, tells me how long my battery's going to last, what percentage there. So if I'm setting up a long shot, there's no guesswork. Is my battery going to die in the middle of this, which happens all the time? You have no idea where the battery's at unless you look in this tiny little window, which is hard to see, and especially when it's light outside. So to have that there all the time, I know that I've got enough juice or enough power to finish the shot. I've also got what's left on my SD card. Right there, if I stop that video, it tells me right there, I've got 118 gig left on that card. So I can, at a glance, look at this, take this outside and down the forest, and know I've got plenty of memory. You know, I didn't forget to format the card. How many times have I gotten out on location or away from my computer, and to fill up a car to not have a spare one, and then have to drive back, unload the unwanted footage, hopefully not losing the footage I've already taken. I mean, just, in, just incredible. Not only that, but it gives me a movie count of how many individual shots that I've taken, how many individual videos. I've got uh, my white balance, these things here, my f-stop are not so important to me at the time, not that they might not, whether I'm in manual focus or automatic focus uh, is on there, but the key things for me, this is one of the, this here, the audio bars I'm recording. This hack, hack section right here telling me you are not recording. You know, I need, I need to start the camera. I'm not going to waste my time and miss shots. To have the battery, to have how much left in the memory is things that, that Canon should have put on this camera from the factory. And maybe they will. Uh, what I would like to see, it would be nice if they would collaborate with Magic Lander. Let's take some of these things that, let's make cameras for, for people who use them. Let's, let's listen to pe people out there that are actually hands-on and making their living with cameras like this and, and add those features in from the factory. But hats off to Magic Lander for this. You guys have, whoever you are, you've changed my life for the better and you've made, uh, turned this into a tool that is so usable and so much better. It helps me creatively. It helps me not to make mistakes. And it just makes my life happier. Oh, this is just love it. Love it, love it. All right, well, that pretty much covers my magic lantern hacks. And we'll see you guys on the next video. For a walk around lens, I think is it has been fine. I wished it was a little bit wider, but that's what it is. But the most important thing is that this is Canon's latest 2470. It's a... Mm -hmm.